So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up look berms on your bungee cord server. So setting up look berms on a bungee cord server is actually something I've seen many, many people struggle with. And to be honest, it's actually also something I struggled with when I set up my bungee cord server, the Zoracraft Network. So that's why I decided let's make a tutorial about this. Anyways, before we start, it will mean a ton if you could leave a like on this video and also check if you're subscribed to the channel. Most people who do watch my videos are actually not subscribed, even though it just takes a single click two clicks if you also want to enable notifications and of course you can always unsubscribe in the future if you do change your mind and then with any further ado let's dive right into this very important if you have no clue what look perms is like at all then i would recommend first watching the video that's linked in the top right of the screen right now that will actually be just a look perms tutorial that will exactly tell you how to use look perms in the first place now this is where a problem starts occurring people have just set up their bungee cord network and now they want look perms to manage all their permissions they go to the look perms website and then to download and what is that choose your server type bungee cord now this is something that confuses a lot of people i've gotten tons of support tickets tons of private messages from people saying kasasara i set up a bungee cord network I downloaded the Lookperms bungee cord version, I put it on my server and it doesn't work. Why is that? Well, let me explain. So a bungee cord server is basically multiple Minecraft servers linked together. Now those Minecraft servers you link together are just normal Minecraft paper or spigot servers. The only difference is that you link them together with a bungee cord proxy. A bungee cord proxy is just another server which sole job it is to send you from one server to the other. Now what confuses people is that Lookperms page and the fact that the Bungie Guard Proxy also has a plugins folder. Now most people think, oh, I can just download Lookworms Bungie Guard, drag it into the plugins folder of the Bungie Guard Proxy, and then I can manage the permissions of all my servers from that Bungie Guard server. Well, unfortunately, that's not the case. It's way more complicated. The Bungie Guard Proxy does indeed support plugins, but it only supports special Bungie Guard plugins and they're more like management plugins. So an extra security plugin or something that changes the MOTD in the server list, stuff like that. It is not a replacement for plugins that you actually want to run on your server. So if I have two different servers, I have a lobby server and a survival server. And I want Essentials X to run on both of those servers, I can just put it inside the plugins folder of the bungee cord proxy i will actually have to put the essentials x file inside of both the survival server and the lobby server now for look perms that's exactly the same thing but kasasora does that mean that i'll have to set up all my ranks on every single server separately uh yeah kind of yes and also no i will explain in a bit most important question what is the look perms bungee cord actually for i mean there is a look perms bungee cord what does it do now to understand that you will need to know how bungee cord actually works so bungee cord is a server that links other servers together the you know that by now but it also adds some commands so in a normal paper or spigot server you don't have the command slash server that's just not an existing command but if you play on a paper server that's part of a bungee cord network Network, then there will actually be a slash sir I can type a slash server command slash server and if I do that I will see all the servers inside this network so in this case we have survival and lobby a paper or spigot doesn't know that command at all only bungee cord does and that's what look perms bungee cord can manage so here we have look perms bungee cord we're just gonna click on it and there we go it will download so over here we got my bungee cord server here we got the lobby server the survival server and the waterfall server waterfall is a fork of bungee cord so this is just the bungee cord proxy what we will do is we will go into waterfall then we will go to plugins and just drag Lookperms Bungie inside. Then after restarting the Bungie Core Proxy, you want to go to the console. Because we actually have to give ourselves permissions to use Lookperms in the first place. Now the reason we need to do this is because Bungie Cards doesn't know something like OP. In a normal paper or spigot server, you can just make yourself OP and you will have every single command. No, Bungie Cards doesn't know OP. So we actually manually have to give ourselves permissions to use Lookperms in the first place. Now to do that, we're gonna type LPB, this stands for Lookperms Bungie, then space user, 
space Kasai Sora, because that's my username. Of course, you need to put your own username here. Then space perm space set space look perms like that. Then don't forget the dot, one dot, and then a star. So this is the whole command you have to put in. So basically, you're telling look perms Bungie that the user Kasasura needs a permission set to look perms dot star. The star always stands for everything, so this will basically give me every single look perms permission. We're just gonna click on enter. Oh, come on, because I'm not in the server? Let me try that again. There we go. Make sure you're inside of the server while doing this, otherwise it won't work like you could see then back in game with all the permissions in my hand we can do slash lpb look rooms bungee and then editor when doing that we will get a link Ooh! when clicking on the link and opening it it will take you to this page now if you've watched my original look rooms tutorial then this website is all too familiar but basically here you can edit your groups your users your permissions basically everything so let's go to groups there's one group it's default and right now it doesn't have any permissions so just to be clear if you have essentials installed on all your paper servers that are linked to your network you can't manage that here over here you can only manage things that have to do with bungee cord so for example if i click on here you can already see bungee cord dot command dot alert bungee cord dot command dot end bungee cord dot command dot ip and over here we get the command bungee cord dot command dot server so if i would want my normal members on the server to not be able to use the slash server command then this is how i would disable it now you can also disable this without look perms bungee cord you don't need it but if you have like five or ten bungee cord proxy plugins installed on your Bungie Core proxy server, then a permissions editor like this could be really, really handy. So this is what Look Burns Bungie is for. So now that you know how to manage the permissions of every single plugin and every single command that has to do with your Bungie Core proxy, now the big question. How do you actually get Look Burns working on your Bungie Core network? Now, like I said before, if you want Essentials X to work on every single Minecraft server in your network, you will have to install it to every single Minecraft server separately. Same thing goes for Lookperms. The problem you will come across is that they will not sync. So if I would have a member group and a VIP group and an owner group, then I will have to make those three groups in every single server separately. And if somebody will buy a rank, so basically they will purchase a VIP rank, then you will have to put the player into that VIP rank in every single server separately. That's a giant hassle, a lot of work, and just it, it doesn't make sense. Now the solution for this problem is a MySQL server. Kasasura, are you serious? Another server? Yes, viewer another server. So to get Lookperms to sync between all of your servers, you will need to link Lookperms from every single server to a MySQL server. A MySQL server is a database. A database that stores, well, data. Now Lookperms is MySQL compatible, meaning that you can link it to a MySQL server. If you link Lookperms on every single separate server to that MySQL server, they will all sync with each other. Say if I will put myself in another rank, I will go to another rank in every single server. If I would change a permission, that permission will be changed in every single server. And that's of course what we want. We just want it to sync across the board. Now, Kassasara, how do I get one of those MySQL servers? Well, there is a way to set it up on your own PC, but it is a giant hassle. And to be honest, it's not even worth doing the research. You will just need a MySQL server provided by a Minecraft server hosting company. Now, plus sites with most packages you buy, there's already a MySQL server included. So at MC Pro Hosting, the company that runs the Soracraft network, you will actually get a free database with every plan you buy. So here on the MC Pro Hosting website, down here under advanced, we actually have a tab called databases. Now, when we click on that, you will see MySQL database. Where, United States or Europe? Well, let's just do Europe. And we're gonna call it Look Perms like that and then create a database database successfully created beautiful so now you will see a database name a description a host a location creation date but if we click here on user info you will also see a mysql username and a mysql password so after locating and creating a mysql server we want to go back to our bungee cord network then we want to go to one of our servers so let's start with the lobby server then go to plugins look perms and then over here to the config file so we want to connect this server to my mysql server before we do that though we have to give this server a name so this is my lobby server let's just call this server lobby just like that okay 
clear. Why am I doing this? I will tell you later. Just make it easy to understand. That's exactly what we need. So, right now the storage method is H2. What is H2? H2 is just local storage. So that means that all your data will just be stored inside of your Lugbrums folder. To be even more precise, this file over here, this one, that's our database. That's our storage. Everything that we do in Lugbrums, all the groups, all the permissions, they will all be stored inside of this file. Now what we basically want to do is create one of these files inside of our MySQL server. Now to do that, we first want to change the source method to MySQL. You wouldn't have guessed it, but it's really true. There we go. Then address, where do we change it to? Well, that will be the host. So in my case, uk.mysql.mcprohosting.com. Just copy this and paste it over here. Beautiful. Uh, remove the space, there we go. Then credentials for the database. Username, go back to your database, wherever you're hosting it, and then just copy your MySQL username, and then paste it in here. Then we got the password. Same story here, MySQL passwords, just copy it and paste it over here. Here, there we go. Wait, I completely forgot about the database. So we also have to give a database. What is the database you may ask? Well, back here on the website, we have database name, this. You want to copy this. Copy it and paste it in here. There we go. Now we're just gonna save this config and exit out. Now what you can do now is just copy this config file. So just copy it. Then we will go back to Bungie and then to our survival server. Go in here to plugins. Look for them and then just paste it here. There we go. Replace. And then the only thing we want to change in here is the name of the server. So this is now my survival server. The server is called Lobby. No, we're gonna change it to Survival. There we go. The rest is just fine because we already set up the MySQL server. It will now already be set up here. So just save it and there you go. Now we're gonna restart my lobby server. So just go to the lobby server and then we're gonna start it. And let's look at the console what exactly happened. Because that's important. You want to know if it works. So here we got the console. It's doing its thing. And there we go. It's working. Here we got the Lookperms startup. So Lookperms is starting up. Lookperms running on bucket paper. And then over here, load storage provider. Normally it would say H2 here. Is now saying my SQL. So here we are back in game, and now we can just do slash LP editor, and then it will open the normal editor. If you do LPB, just like this, then it will open the Lookperms Bungie editor. So here we are inside of the Lookperms editor. So let's just add some groups. We only have the default group now, so let's just add another one. For example, owner admin and then we want VIP. The VIP has a weight of two. Then we're going to save. Copy the command, then go back in game, change the command here, just like that, and the groups have been added. So now we can type slash LP list groups, and we will see all our groups here. So owner admin B, <laughs> for some reason, I think I accidentally typed the B there, then VIP, and then default. Now let's see if the MySQL server actually works. We're now inside of the lobby server, let's see if the survival server also has these same groups. Let's do slash server, then we're going to survival, just click on it. There we go. Hi there. Okay, inside the survival server, there's immediately a zombie spawning right next to us. So that's a great start. But let's do LP list groups. And like you can see, it's working. So I just created these groups in the lobby server. Then the lobby server uploaded them to the MySQL server. And this server, which is a survival server, downloaded those files again. And now got exactly the same groups. Now if I will put myself to another group, then that will be updated on every single server. If I would edit a permission, so I would, for example, give the VIP group slash fly. That permission will be added to all VIP groups. Still remember that on top of the Lookperms config, file i changed the name of the server what was that for well i'm gonna explain to you now if we do lp editor like this and then we open the Lookbrums editor then we're now inside the editor of the survival server but of course if we save this and then put in the command in our survival server it will also update in all the other servers because they're all connected to the mysql server that also means that all commands will be synced between all servers but casa what if I want slash fly 
to be enabled in my lobby server and disabled in my survival server. And that's where the server part is for. Now let's not use Essentials Fly because I don't have Essentials installed on these servers. I have nothing except for look perms. So we're just gonna use bucket.commands.help. So this command over here, I'm just gonna click on it. There we go. Because we want to add it. Now the value will be true, which means you will gain access to this command. So the VIP group will gain access to this command. But then we can also add a context. So let's add a context. Let's click on plus. There we go. And now we're gonna give a key. Now a key can be a dimension type, a game mode, a world. So what does that mean? Basically, this is saying the VIP group will have access to this command, buckets.command.help. The value is true, so it will gain access. And only when in game mode, for example, Adventure. So only if you're in game mode Adventure, you will be able to use this command. Now what we can also do is not use game mode or dimension type, but server. So we can do server and then, for example, lobby. There we go. And then just add it. And now people will be able to use bucket.command.help inside of the lobby. Add it. There we go. The context is server lobby. Now what name you will need to put here all depends on what name you put inside of the top of the config file of Luckperms. So my lobby server I just called lobby, my survival server I just called survival. If you call it something else then this name over here needs to be different. But we can now for example also disable this inside of our survival server. So I can just do bucket.command.help. Then we can put the value to false and then the context will be server survival. Add Add. There we go. So now people will be allowed to use it in the lobby and they won't be allowed to use it in survival. This all might sound really complicated at first, but trust me, if you start actually doing it and just experimenting with it, then you will soon find out that it's easier than you think. You just need to get the hang of it. So now we can just save this and then copy it, then go back in game, paste it, and there we go. Look at our command that help, false in survival and true inside of the lobby. Now eventually the list of your permissions will get really really big. Especially if you're getting more and more servers. Because all of your permissions will now be inside of one list. So all your survival permissions and all your creative permissions will all be inside of the same list. But now some will just solely have the context survival, some will solely have the context lobby and so you can still keep them separate. Now another problem that can occur is that you already have ranks on your server and you want to import them to the MySQL server. So let's say I was already running a survival server and then I decided to change it into a bungee cord network and add a lobby and all sorts of other servers to it then I already have ranks on that survival server well before you connect to the MySQL server you just do LP export like that and then a name for example test uh, just test why not there we go export test so now a copy of the Luckperms database has exported to this location. So you just do that. You just export it and then you connect to the MySQL server like I showed before. And after that you just do LP import like that and then the name test. There we go, imported. It's as easy as that. Just remember what server you actually exported it on. So currently I'm in my survival server. If you export it there, you also have to import it there, but that's all that's to it. Just first export a backup, then connect to the MySQL server. Then all your permissions and all your ranks will be blank because the MySQL server is another storage method. And because of that, it will lose all the ranks. So you won't have any of your ranks anymore that you had before when you were still using local storage. But by just doing slash import and then the name you can just import everything again and then it will just be synced between all your servers or at least all the servers that are connected to the MySQL server and then that's gonna be it for now I really hope you enjoyed watching if you did make sure to leave a like if you're new to the channel not subscribed yet and you do enjoy the content make sure to smash that subscribe button and click on the notification bell you would really help me out by doing that you actually would and then that's all for now and I will see you in the next one bye bye